Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be a lot of fun. It's um, a yarn talk full of a lot of different amigurumi, so I'm very excited because I have been crocheting a lot this week and there's a lot to show. <laughs> I'm super, super excited. Um, I thought about this for a second because some of the things that I have I think I'm going to change the order for this video, so I'm going to show you guys the work in progress uh, first, and then I'll show you the finished objects and then um, any upcoming things and stuff like that. So the first work in progress is a Pokemon. So this is a free pattern. I've done it before. Um, it's a lot of fun, <laughs> and it comes out really big. Um, so I like it because it almost uses a whole skein of yarn. Uh, this is Snorlax. It's a free pattern. I, I'll try to look for it. I've had this pattern for a few years though because I have um, made it before and um, yeah, I, <laughs> I wanted to make another one. He's a work in progress because he just needs the eyes and then the mouth, but they're super, super easy to embroider and then that's it. Um, so I, for all, the majority of my amigurumis unless if i like say different i will typically use the five millimeter uh, boy hook and h hook so i think most people make amigurumis with a smaller hook so it'll probably come out a little bit smaller for other people but he comes out really <laughs> really big size for me the only downside to making him is that he uses a lot of stuffing um but it's worth it so when i first started um, up here, you could probably tell I was trying to carry the blue under the, the um, beige color. But I stopped doing that down here because, like, I didn't realize you could actually see it. I'm probably carrying it wrong. But, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. This is a Red Heart Super Saver blue. And then the, <laughs> the tan is um, Craft Smart. This is like a old one. I think this got discontinued. It's beige. Um, cause I got it when it was 250. So yeah, I really, really love this for like skin color too. So I'm going to be sad when I am out of that, but it's okay. I have a couple more of the same ones. Thankfully I found them when they were on sale, but yes, this is my Snorlax. He will hopefully be a finished object, um, next week because it's really easy. I should have actually just finished it, but, um, I think when I finished sewing him together, it was like late at night and I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> like I'll finish tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm really, really excited for him and everything. All the patterns will be in the description box below. The next work in progress. Okay. <laughs> so last time I was showing you that I was working on a happy, I think it's called a happy dinosaur or, or a dinosaur. I should probably know. I have too many patterns, I forget their names now. But it's this dinosaur pattern that I made, um, I want to say two years ago. Oh my gosh, time flies. <laughs> um, and I really, really love that dinosaur pattern. And I've made two so far, um, not counting my work in progress. So I was showing you guys that I was working on making another dinosaur. And I was using two strands of yarn at the same time. Uh, one of them, I have no idea what it was and then the other one was a white craft crafter secret from hobby lobby the other one i'm pretty sure it was like a red heart like an older variegated red heart but i had the head last time and i was working on the body so i just oh i got to the point last time where i knew that I wasn't going to have enough yarn of the variegated to finish the whole dinosaur. Um, so I was kind of stuck. I didn't know if I what I should do because I didn't really want to go buy more yarn. I'm trying to use for right now um, what I have until I like go to the store and fall in love with a new skein of yarn. <laughs> um, but I ended up, I was looking through my stash and I found, so I knew I had something similar. I thought I had some of the same yarn, but I didn't. I just had this one, which it's, it is different because the way that it um, switches to a new color is very quick. And the 
the one that I'm using here, you can see it like takes its time. It takes um, like a row or sometimes two rows to change colors. So that was different and that had me a little worried. But thankfully, I had enough of this yarn to almost finish it. So I ended up sewing together all the pieces. Um, I just need to make his um, his scales like for the back. So this is the dinosaur. Oh, I love it. I really, really love variegated yarn with white so basically i had enough of the original yarn to make the body the head the tail the two arms and then the feet is where i ran out so i had enough right here is where i started using all this is the new one you can't really tell i mean you can like in person it's a little easier to tell but it kind of gets lost because there's a lot of color going on so I really like that. You can see this whole foot is in the um, the new color. And then this one, like I said, it it's like the rest of it. But it almost is. There's like two rows of the original color and then the rest is um, the new one. Oh, he came out huge. I love it. I really, really love big amigurumis. Um, I'm happy. <laughs> super, super happy. So I have a picture of this skein of yarn next to the original. Um, so you guys can see that they do look, that they are different, but they look similar. So I'll put in that picture too, so you guys can see that. Um, when I was making this one, I stopped for a little bit when I was, after I recorded that video, and I showed you guys um, that I didn't really know what to do because of the yarn situation, but I really, really wanted to finish a dinosaur. So what did I do? <laughs> I ended up um, making another one. <laughs> so this is also a work in progress. It also just needs the scales. And then, um, yeah. So I use felt eyes for these. That's why I don't have safety eyes on them or else I would put them on already. Uh, would have put them on already but I have two dinosaurs <sighs> I really love these dinosaurs <laughs> I'm super super happy with this pattern the uh, reason why I stopped both of them is because I am stuck trying to decide a color for their scales so for the scales you can see I use a completely like different color um this one I love the using variegated yarn for these dinosaurs like I feel like it's a perfect um, pattern to do that and it's hard for me to find a pattern that I feel like oh this would look good with variegated yarn because usually it's like I don't know for me it's kind of hard to do it and then when I do make a pattern like a monkey or a bear in variegated yarn then I'm like oh I, I don't know if it looks as good as the original but because I don't know these dinosaurs just come out really cute <laughs> so I'm still deciding I feel like I might do multiple colors for the scales on this one it's six scales and then for this one i'm thinking either red or blue but um i'm not sure not sure yet i was super excited though because for this one i got to finish two skeins of yarn um it actually only took one and very little of the second one and this is a different this is like an old red heart um maypole maypole yarn <laughs> um it says three ounces 85 grams i feel like back like years ago they didn't actually say how many yards were in the skein because i've noticed that with older labels i got this one i think from a thrift store but the color was country berry that's so cute I, so that's the one for this one uh, i don't know the colors again for the other dinosaur but super excited i did end up using a what did I use? Um, I think it was a six. No, sorry. I usually use a five millimeter hook. For this one, I used a six. Yeah. <laughs> For this one, I used a six millimeter hook because the yarn is a little bit thicker. This yarn, um, it doesn't say like what weight, but I feel like it... It was definitely thicker than a, um, a worsted weight yarn. So I did use a little bit of a bigger hook and it came out perfect. I love it so much and I can't wait 
to finish it soon. For this one, I did use a big hook. What was it? It's the blue 6.5 millimeter hook for this one. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that was going to take me forever and like I wasn't going to finish it in time, especially because like I kept stopping because um, using a bigger hook sometimes does hurt my hand. So that's why I made the second one, but I ended up getting super excited for both of them that I finished them. So I have um, that those are my work in progress for right now. And I have two uh, labels to add to my my bag that I've been keeping all year with all my yarn labels. There's a lot in here, which is funny because I was watching um, Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet and she was going over how many yarn labels she's finished this year. Um, I don't think I've done as many as her, but I've gone through a lot, which is crazy because I don't see a dent <laughs> in my yarn shelf. Um, but the reason why I would did finish both of those the dinosaur like i said only took one skein and a little bit of the second one is because we're gonna go to um finished objects now those are it for the work in progress it's three big ones that are almost done the snorlax just needs embroidery the two dinosaurs just need their um their scales so i didn't know what to do i actually feel like the tail and like two legs is what I used from the second skein. But I did have some leftover and I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, so I ended up making Pickles the Pig. So this is also my pattern. Um, it'll be in the description box below. I made three pig bodies first. And then I made the, the ears and the snouts. And I didn't have enough of the yarn to make all of them with that yarn <laughs> so you'll see the differences here the snout is the same color as the body but then i used white yarn for one ear and tan yarn for the other ear and it's so cute i really really love the way pickles came out and then the second one is a tan snout a tan ear and then this ear is using the same as the body and the last one is the same the snout is the color of the body, and so is one ear, but the second ear is white. So they came out really cute, and I absolutely love them. Um, and that was it for two skeins. But I mean, that's I think that's a lot to get because the dinosaur comes out a really big size, and I got three pickles, the pigs. So I'm very, very, very happy. I completely finished two skeins of yarn. Um this was a work in progress last week and it, i think it had been for a while but i finally finished the cat planter pot friend so i forgot to put flowers in it but i can do that right now <laughs> make it even cuter um i oh, i love this i wish i would have had it done in time for like halloween but that's okay because it'll be back next year look <laughs> It's perfect for like a desk um, or like any anywhere. It's just super cute and adorable. So this one, all the pieces were done last week. I just had to sew them on. So it's just the ears and the tail. This planter pot friend is super easy and fun to make. And I think the cat planter pot was the first one that I did. But I do have some more of these um, like in my head. They're living in my head for right now. But they will be coming out soon probably around january february because i would like to if possible come up with like a winter or christmas theme pattern um but we'll see because it's already like mid-november i can't believe thanksgiving is like next week it's crazy uh i'm super super excited then i have i told you guys i've been crocheting a lot <laughs> this week i'm super excited you can see crocheting makes me happy and i i'm happy that i have a lot of things finished this is a pattern that i'm gonna have it very soon the only thing that i'm waiting for is to put up our christmas tree so i can take proper pictures of it um it's not finished just yet i guess it should have been a work in progress 
but i'll show it to you guys um anyways so this is the tiny tiny pig and i want this to be a little flying pig ornament um i have the wings right here i just need to sew them on so let me see if i can hold it so it looks better but i just need to sew on the wings and then i want to put up we're gonna put up our tree either today or tomorrow um sorry there was a hair on it so yeah i want to take pictures of it hanging on the tree so then it would look like better in the pattern but this is a tiny pig ornament so i do i was thinking of making the flying pig like this but um i do like this shape but i feel like it's a little bit too big for an ornament so that's why i can't put the tiny one so <laughs> you can see the size difference it's um it's really cute and like this comes out obviously a lot faster than making this one so i'm really really happy with how tiny and cute he is look without the wings too oh my gosh can you imagine like having a bunch of these just like little piggies oh i like little things <laughs> Uh, so this pattern will be coming out very, very soon. As of me recording the video right now, it's not out. Um, when I post it, it probably won't be out either. But if you're watching this video, like, maybe a week or so after I've posted it, then I will have tried to remember to go back and um, put the pattern in the description box if I have already released it. I've tried to remember to go back and do that in my videos, but... With so much going on, I often forget. <laughs> um, okay, so we're kind of going to jump back to work in progress because I forgot about one. Um, yesterday, was it yesterday? Last night? I think it was last night. I wanted to make something and I completely, like, I, I didn't really know what I wanted to make. But I knew I wanted to use up some of my yarn. Like, I have a lot of the same colors. Um that sometimes I get tired of seeing them there so I want to use them I have this book Happy Gurumi and this book was showing up in the Dollar Tree for a lot of people I tried looking for it I think maybe once or twice but um I never found it so I ended up buying it on eBay um I feel like this was a year ago when it was showing up in people's Dollar Trees and I got it for like $5. So that's a really, really good deal. It has a lot of super cute patterns. I've made this one already. Um, I think that's the only one that I've made from this book so far. But I knew I was going to make more. Here are all the patterns. They're really cute. There's some interesting ones that I probably won't be making. Just because um, I'm not a huge fan of like the mouths. <laughs> they kind of look, they remind me of, like they're really cool. Um, but they remind me a little bit of like some of the Muppets that I'm not the fondest of. I love the Muppets. I absolutely love Kermit and Miss Piggy and Gonzo and the Penguins. I love all of them. But there's some like the babies. I don't know if you guys know the Muppets. You probably know. There's like some babies that they kind of look creepy to me. <laughs> and that's what this reminds me of. But anyways, um, but in crochet, it's really cool. And I, to have designed that that's that's awesome but um for me i knew that i was gonna probably eventually one day make the bird you know the turtle the squirrel um there was a oh the ostrich so i had already made the turtle and i started the frog uh it's a really really cute frog let me see if i can show you a bigger picture of him so there he is um i i enjoyed it so i used big twist value in the color emerald and it looks like two skeins because i pulled out the middle because i decided to make the frog holding i was holding two strands at the same time so i did use a six millimeter crochet hook and basically i just have all the pieces here and i have to sew him together so it took me about i think two and a half hours to crochet all the pieces um which i didn't think was too bad but i'm um, still probably gonna take me like a half an hour to sew everything on if i'm lucky so it, all together this frog will probably have taken me about three hours 
20 minutes maybe um that's probably more likely so yeah i have all the pieces here hopefully this frog will be finished for next time but i do really like that book and it hopefully if it's still like five dollars on ebay you should look into it because um it has some cute patterns in there so yeah i have um a good amount left this was oh, i think it was a full skein i want to say it was a full skein but um yeah using a big hook i think it uses a lot more yarn especially because on top of that i'm using i was pulling out of it like at two times as fast so i think that's it for finished objects and for work in progress for upcoming on top of finishing <laughs> my works in progress so i have to finish the frog and the dinosaurs and then the embroidery on the pokemon um i do want to make another four five six because um i i want to make one <laughs> i want to make a second one i really enjoyed making the first one so that will probably be upcoming um what else well the the pig pattern will be upcoming because it, it is coming <laughs> and oh there is a pattern that i kind of want to make again so it's one of the first things i've ever crocheted it was an elephant um the very first thing i crocheted was a bunny so I kind of want to remake that too. I think it'd be cool to see like where I'm at. I don't know if I'll do that just yet because I do have like quite a few things started. But that's something in the near future that I do want to start is an elephant and then the bunny. I think it was the dress me bunny was the very first thing that I made. And I might still have, I, think, I feel like I still have the bunny. It's horrible. It's, I don't like looking at it. <laughs> well i didn't before but i feel like if i look at it now i would be proud so um i'm not gonna look for it just yet i kind of want to remake it though that'd be cool so um yeah i might do that but once i finish all these things something that i've noticed <laughs> you can tell i jump around a lot something that i noticed that has helped me um especially this week because i started a bunch of new things and i was trying to like not overdo it and um like start too many new things because I don't want to end up having a bunch of unfinished projects and then keep starting more um I wrote a list and I think I have that uh yeah <laughs> I wrote a list when I um was looking at all my <laughs> works in progress and I said I'm going to try like really, really, really hard to not have more than five projects going at the same time. So I had at one point, it was the larger dinosaur, the small dinosaur, the cat planter pot, the frog and Snorlax. I think that's all that I have started too, because like the, the pig is almost done. I just need to put the wings on, but yeah i'm really i think i'm gonna try to stick to that like at all times having a list of um what i have started and like i had the list on my um cart i have a little like three tier cart where i have my works in progress in their um project bags and stuff because i like keeping um my projects in project bags i absolutely love it because all the yarn is right in there and if i'm going somewhere i can just grab it but Sometimes having things in project bags, I tend to like for not necessarily forget what's in there, but like forget actually how much I have like that I'm working on. So I think that'll help too. Um, it really did this week. So I'm going to try to keep that up. Um, I So that's kind of it again for finished objects and works in progress. But I did go to Joanne's three days ago i was looking for a magazine by crochet now which i think is a united kingdom magazine and they had a really really cute like their november issue had um a lot of christmas stuff in it and i really really wanted that one because um i think it had a booklet in it i'll try to put a picture of the magazine
but the booklet has like a a pattern for a pusheen cat and a like a christmas sloth and i really wanted it i looked for it i spent well actually i did record <laughs> some things um while i was looking for it so i'll try i'll insert those clips here hi everyone i'm michelle welcome back to my channel so i am actually in my garage right now <laughs> i'm in my car um i saw yesterday that um there's a crochet magazine that i really really want to get and i think it's a like a uk only magazine but i'm pretty sure i've seen it before at joanne's it's a oh, what's it called i think it's crochet now something like that and I, i'm pretty sure i've seen it before and the patterns that are in it this uh, month for december are really 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 cute there's like um a pusheen pattern with like so it's a cat and then a sloth and I just I really want it especially for those patterns so I'm gonna go and I thought it would be fun to um do a Joanne's trip together so hopefully I can find the patterns um the magazine and maybe I'll find other things too but I thought it would be fun to take you guys with me so let's go on a Joanne's trip okay so I'm super excited I'm here there <laughs> so I'm going to go in and hopefully they have what I'm looking for. Okay, so update, I just got back and I spent like a good half an hour in there um, searching through all the different, like the, where they had the books and the magazines and then they had the magazines in two different places. I couldn't find anything. Um, I did find a lot of cute things though that I, I will probably end up picking up if I don't get the, like if I don't find the magazine, but I'm going to come back. So this is going to be a uh, part one. <laughs> I'm going to continue looking for that magazine because I really want it and I'm going to try not to order it online um because I want it now <laughs> but I might end up ordering it online so we'll see but for now this was um this was fun and I'm going to try to do it again soon so in the end I did not find it but um I tried to look online and they had sold out already so I'm gonna I'm going to try to go again and keep checking because I really, really want that pattern, um, that magazine. I did find some other cute books um, that I put, like I took pictures of them while I was in there. So if I can't find the magazine, I will maybe buy some of those. <laughs> but for now, I really, really want um, the Crochet Now magazine. So yeah, that was a little mini adventure. Uh, this weekend was a lot of fun. I had, oh my gosh, I ended up going to a concert. I had tickets for the concert um, for a while and I was looking forward to it so much and it was amazing. I got to see Ricky Martin and Enrique Iglesias and oh my gosh, it was, I absolutely loved it. Um, <sighs> so actually, I um, here's a t-shirt that I got. Uh, Enrique <laughs> from his table um I really wanted to get a Ricky Martin shirt too but I I had to pick and choose unfortunately t-shirts and concerts are kind of expensive they are um expensive but I I ended up getting Enrique I know god willing one day I'll be able to see Ricky Martin again and I will get his t-shirt that time next time hopefully he tours again I'm sure he will 
um but it was amazing and it was so much fun um i could put in some clips of that too hopefully i remember to put all these things in but i oh my gosh it was a dream country <laughs> it was a lot of fun when ricky martin performs he's like he's such a showman that it's it's so much fun um, unfortunately, I feel like it went by so fast, but I did have a really, really good time and I'll remember it forever. Um, both of them were amazing and yeah, so I guess I did have a really, really good week. I got to crochet a lot and I got to see an amazing concert. Um, yeah, hopefully I finish up my works in progress and, um, I want to start my four, five, six. So wait, let me see how many work in progress I have right now. One, the Snorlax, the frog, the two dinosaurs. So that's four. Is it just four? And, and the pig. So five. Ooh, if I finish the Snorlax embroidery or sewing the pieces on the pig, which both of those are super easy, then I can start my four, five, six. I like this idea. The no more than five um, projects at the same time, which may sound like a lot, or a little bit to like different people but I feel like that number works perfectly for me because again I just usually only make amigurumi so yeah I really really like that idea I'm gonna stick to that um so that is it I I'm super excited because again I think we're gonna put up the tree either today or tomorrow which oh I love Christmas so much I am excited this year for my birthday and I feel like there's a lot to look forward to. Um, I can't wait. I keep going. When I go to the stores, I do, like, go to the Christmas aisles, like, the ornaments and stuff, like, every time. And I want to pick up a lot of stuff. But I'm uh, I'm kind of waiting because I want to see, like, what we have if there's empty spaces in the tree that absolutely need to be filled. Uh, I have bought a couple of Christmas stuff already. So I'm just hesitating to buy more. Because I want to see first. Um, we do have a lot of Christmas stuff. But a little more if never hurts. <laughs> I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of the week. And I hope you guys have time to crochet. And get a lot of projects done. If you're working on any um, like gifts for Christmas. I would absolutely love to know. I think those are so awesome. Um, I think I'm going to be doing that very very soon. Because yeah christmas is is gonna be here and oh my gosh i'm so excited <laughs> so again thank you so much for joining me if you enjoyed the video please consider um liking and subscribing to my channel and i will see you guys next time bye